guys, it's a new day and abundance is here. My name is Bisola Miriam and it's, depending on where you're watching from, it is exactly one hour to the new year, West African time, and it's a couple of hours to the new year, my time. So, happy 2022 to you all and I wanted to come live to share some, you know, some, you know, some words, some thoughts with you as to what is what you to expect in this community in the coming year and most importantly to kind of give you some you know some motivation i think no matter the motivation you've heard or you're having or you would hear as you go into the new year it is never you know enough it is never enough so my goal today is not to bore you but to be very specific about the things that are going to be happening in this community moving forward. So, uh, first of all, the scope of this group, um, excuse me, first of all, the scope of this group has changed. It has changed to include the following. First, this group would now accommodate anyone who has ever bought my book or will ever buy my book whether it's a one dollar ebook or a premium book or a needle ticket book if you've ever bought my book this group is for you so whether it's the scholarship guaranteed book or the profit in millions book or book for people books or you know guides for people who are navigating narcissistic relationships or People who have ever been victims of domestic violence or recovering victims or survivors, whatever book you buy in that category, you are welcome to join this group as well. So anyone who buys any of my book or who would buy in the future, this is the group where they would join, right? And so because of the way in which the brand, the Bissola Miriam brand is evolving, the brand is now evolving to include a number of new you know new services new signature programs and new niches and to that end i have decided to divide the ways in which we would you know we would carry out our project into phases so for instance every year would have us you know create programs and activities to fit the different niches and the different season of tw of, of every new year so in the year 2022, the very first thing we would be working on is to work closely with people so that we have people develop mobile skills. So in the first half of the year, basically, the goal would be to talk to, to educate people across our social media platforms and, of course, through private coaching, how they can leverage mobile skills or how they can build or develop a mobile skill. So that will be the first goal or the first objective in 2022. So between January to March, everything we will do in all of our platform, on all of our platforms and through our programs or activities will be targeted towards equipping people with the skills to develop mobile, I mean, would be targeted towards giving, you know, providing information and educate, educative content on how people can develop mobile skills. Understand that the primary audience that the Bissola Miriam brand seeks to serve are people looking to relocate abroad to study or just or migrate abroad. And so we feel that one thing that a lot of people fail to realize is the need to develop mobile skills. Mobile skills are skills that you have that even though you relocate from one country to another, you still have those skills. I mean, they don't you don't leave them when you move from Nigeria to to the US for instance, when you move from from Ghana to the US when we move from Zimbabwe to the U.S. or Kenya to the U.S. or Senegal to the U.S. or Canada, these skills are still with you despite your relocation or you relocating, okay? So we will be teaching and equipping scholars and I will be coming into this group to offer a, 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 the typical life clarity session at the private, you know, the private life that i i would always come here to give to hold a private life every sunday in this private academy all right 
Now, one thing I also want you to bear in mind is it is very important that... Okay, so let's move on to the second quarter. In the second quarter, I we will be creating content and promoting or give information on scholarship and how people can prepare to apply from the second quarter into the later part of the year. So all of our content will be strategically positioned to give information or clarity on what people need to do to assess fully for their scholarships. So that will be the goal in the second half of the year. In the third half of the year, as we plan, as we would get close to the domestic violence day, the world domestic violence and abuse day, as we get close to the international left-handers day, every content that we'll create in the third quarter of the year will be strategically targeted towards educating people on domestic violence and abuse. Now, in the last half of, in the last quarter of the year, Oh my God, which is most likely going to be my favorite time of the year. It will be the time to share reviews for people, those people who have, you know, benefited from what we have shared in the first half, in the second half, in the third half. They're going to be coming, we're going to be hosting several lives, you know, in the last year so that people can share their testimonies, so that people can share their reviews. How have they been supported through any of our programs, any of our books, any of our resources, whether paid for or paid for? Whatever way we have, you know, touched the lives of people here and there, we'll be having people share their reviews and success stories, you know, in the third half. Most importantly, the third half would be to promote our physical conference. So by the grace of God, we'll be holding... Um, and the grace of God will be holding an in-person conference in 2022 and beyond. And so the conference will, will promote the conference most mainly in the third year. And this conference will promote vigorously. So we would have this conference in not just in Nigeria this time. We'll be holding this conference in some African countries as well. So we hope to be able to hold in Nigeria, which is the ori like the origin, like the the mother address of the brand, would hold another in another West African country, most likely in Ghana. We'll hold another physical conference in Kenya. Sorry, so we're picking one West African country, one North African country, one Southern African country, and one Eastern African country in addition to Nigeria by the grace of God. So most likely we're going to be holding conference in, you know, four different, the four, the four African regions or the four different regions in Africa. And they will be holding at least one conference in the mother ad location or the mother location of the brand, which is Nigeria, in addition to these four places. So the conference would not be virtual. I have a running notes. The conference will not be virtual. It will be an in-person conference. And we're trusting God. We're trusting the universe to provide, to make available resources, to make available people who would commit to making this conf these different conferences a reality. Because eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what God is set to do for us in 2022 and i trust the universe i trust god i trust the lady Mary to make things happen for us and um, that is that and if there is any other information i would come back here to share for now that will be all and i trust that you would have a wonderful 2022 most importantly i want you to know that Everything beautiful is your portion. Everything good is your portion. You have, you don't need anybody's permission to be great, to be awesome, to be amazing. You don't need anybody's permission to succeed. You don't need any permission to go for your goals. You don't need anybody's permission to crush your dreams. You're wonderful. You're formidable. You are a God. And so God has created you in his image, in our image and likeness so that you can achieve everything that has been deposited inside of you. And so I want you to go into 2022 fearless, go into 2022 
you know, believing that you can get things done, believing that despite the limitations, believing that despite the fears that would come in 2022, you are more than a conqueror. I want you to go into 2022 trusting your guts, trusting your intuition. I want you to go into 2022 speaking the things that are not as, as though they are. I want you to go into 2022 re, 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 doing a, a, a mental shift and believing that you are formidable and that you can get things done and that in 2022, see, the world would marvel, the world would shake at the expression of God's glory inside of you. You are not limited. You are limitless. You are boundless. You are formidable. You can do anything. You can create anything. You are a creator. You are powerful beyond human comprehension. And I want you to go into 2022 with this realization, with this understanding, because you are a God. And what do gods do? They create. They get things done. They are fearless. I know you are. And I trust you. And with me, your space, <laughs> you have no choice but to make magic. Have a wonderful new year. God bless you. And I love you. Bye. Abundance is here. Talk soon. Bye.